me attack, baby I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it no cap, only got one so you better go live it up, cash in the bag Stadium pack, baby I'm bad good you guys it's your girl cc aka cecilia robinson aka cc and i want to thank you all for tuning in with me today before we get started i need for you guys to like subscribe share and please hit that bell so you know when i'm coming on listen this is my one year anniversary and i want to thank each and every one of you for supporting me for showing up weekly you know what i'm saying whether youtube be on bs with me or not Y'all still be here. And that's what I'm talking about. That's family. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's something I want to ask y'all. I need for you guys to join the Sea Hive. Yes, I need for you guys to join the Sea Hive. Um, I have plenty of content over there. And I'm constantly dropping content for over there. I know a lot of people say, CC, we need more content from you. CC, we need longer videos for you. Listen. I got longer content over there. I have more videos over there. And it's all about me. You know? It's all about me. More story times. Yes, it costs a little bit. But y'all tell me I need to be on Netflix and Hulu and HBO and I need to be all over. Listen. Same price. <laughs> same price. Join the C half. Hit that little join button. You know what I'm saying? If you don't see the button up there, comment below. I'll be Johnny on the spot dropping that link. Join the C half. Please join the Sea Hive. Plus, I got some new content. New content coming to the Sea Hive members only. I want you to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be a part of that. Listen, I ain't made it on TV yet. This is where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? This is where I'm at. Y'all, you, you, you spend money on your 3-5, right? You know what I'm saying? You, you spend money on right? Listen, join the Sea Hive. You know, now I ain't gonna lecture you too much. I'm gonna go ahead and, and let you go ahead and enjoy this video. But once again, listen, I do want to thank y'all. <laughs> um, I got about 20, 30, 40, 50, 60,000 people that show up weekly, weekly to show their support to me. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate each and every one of you guys uh, from the bottom of my heart. And I just got to throw this out here. I have one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube. And I love all y'all because without you guys, there could be no me. Um, I'm grateful. Join the have though. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Y'all listen. This crazy. Um, after I had the whole incident with the with the bum, you know, I take my bags back to the to the halfway house. Now, when you bring bags into the halfway house, they have to search your bags with a fine tooth and comb. You know what I'm saying? Um, because they don't want any contraband up in there. No, do nor do they want you to bring any drugs up in there, alcohol, things of those nature. You know what I'm saying? So they think they doing what they need to do to prevent those measures. Well, they feel like they're taking those measures to pre um, do what they got to do to prevent that from happening. It just is what it is. So they searching my bags and everything. Now, listen, when you bring bags inside a halfway house. It's like, uh, uh, you, you, you know how you pull food inside a cat bowl and cat come running. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's how people are when they hear bags rattling inside of, in, inside this halfway house. So while they going through my bags and everything, I'm talking about heads peeping outdoors and everything and people looking and over the stairs and all this other stuff. And I mean, it's just a weird sight. And, and I have to realize this, not everybody in that halfway house is doing good. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody got family. Um, not everybody got a hustle about themselves. Um, and you got to realize how some of these people's lives were before they even um, went to prison. Like they were sleeping under bridges. It just is what it is. I'm not saying this to be funny. I'm saying this because it's factual. Some of these people were homeless and all these other things. This is the first time they got a bed to lay in. In a while. So, um, and, and they're always lurking. They always looking for the next come up. You know, and me, I'm not from Pittsburgh. Um, and, and I have a little more than a lot of those other females up in there. So I'm a target. And you know, I'm I'm quiet. 
people people don't know this. I'm really quiet. You know what I'm saying? So people, I'm quiet and I, I seem kind. So they think that's weakness. You know, and it is what it is. So I had a big target on my back. It just is what it is. Now, check this out. Boom. You know, they get through searching through my bags. Like I said, people peeping out the doors and all this other stuff. People coming out the living room looking and everything. Now, when I go in the kitchen, the kitchen is full of people. You know, it's chicks sitting around. They drinking coffee like they're at Starbucks. You know, they got cigarettes rolled on the table. And, you know, they phones and people in, in flip-flops and all this other stuff. And they pajama coal in their eye. You know, nothing looks productive about these chicks up in here. It was even one chick. Man, you were 7 or something in the morning. Uh, she got pajamas and a full face of makeup like you a clown like where you going to the circus where you going like the slow stuff little stuff like that stuff i peek up on well peep peep you know um i go inside the 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 place where the refrigerator in the area where the refrigerators are you know what i'm saying now in the kitchen it's like this this cut out this this cut out window that you can see into where the refrigerators is from the kitchen. So people looking and seeing that I'm putting food and stuff up in there. Now you got some people who shop up in there and some people who don't. You got some people who beg all the time. You know what I'm saying? Now all the time while I'm putting my food and stuff up, um, big funky. You know, girl who left her booty in the bathroom, huh? Uh, she comes up in there and she say, "Hey," she say, "You think I can get a plate?" what you think i can get a plate now understand something this lady don't even know my name you know what i'm saying imagine she's she's only a she sleep a few feet away from me but she don't know my name she ain't never said hi to me good morning to me uh she asked me when i was okay when i was choking off her smell but uh other than that she ain't never said nothing to me but she asked me do you think i can get a plate you know what I'm saying? So I look at her, I was like, I don't even know what I'm cooking. She was like, well, I'm just telling you, I want dibs. Whatever you cook, I want some of. You know what I'm saying? So I, 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 I you know what I'm saying? Just I, it's just one of those eyes. In my head, I mean, I'm from Chicago. So I mean a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I mean, man, I get out of my face. I, I, I like, don't do it again. Like I, I'll be right back. Like I mean a variety of things. And my I meant a variety of things at that point. It didn't mean I right, you can get a plate. That's what it didn't mean. You know what I'm saying? Have it go. When I get through putting my stuff up, um, I hear old girl out there talking to the other chicks, like, yeah, whenever she cook, I'ma get a plate. You know what I'm saying? I'ma get a plate. She look like she know what she's doing. So I hear somebody else like, man, give me some. Make sure you put enough on your plate to give me some. And I think to myself, like, you hoes are bums. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all are bums. I come up out of there. You know what I'm saying? I go on here and I go to the front. When I go to the front, I tell the staff members, like, I got to go to community service. Now, they tell me, okay, cool. Now, check this out. This is some real stuff. Um, I sign out. When I sign out, I leave out. You know what I'm saying? I leave out once again. I put my headphones in my in my ear. I put my my location where I got to go in my GPS. Now I'm walking. Boom 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 boom. I'm walking. You know what I'm saying? Now as I'm walking, um, since I've been dropped my wallet before, um, I keep looking back, looking back. This time when I look back, I notice it's a car that's slow creeping up on me now here's the thing i did not walk down the main street which is center ave i walked down this this next street like right right the block right before um the the halfway house it's like a side block i walked down that block i don't even walk down those type of blocks but i didn't want to walk into the ddb i ain't want to walk into the little bum dude so i'm trying to take a little back way it is what it is have it go i notice a car creeping up you know what I'm saying? Now, it's it's plenty of, of, of apartment buildings and stuff over there. So, I don't know if this person is looking for an address or not. So, I look back a couple of times, look back a couple of times. Now, the third time I look back, this car is still creeping. Um, I realized it was a chick that I knew on the passenger side. It was the chick Jill. You know what I'm saying? Who is Jill? I talked about Jill a few stories ago. Jill was the chick who tried to pimp me out, who told me that she had a guy friend who's just looking for friends with benefits and he gonna pay for this and the third and all of this and none and the third. Um, I see her. She's in the passenger seat. And I told you, Jill is a, um, a white girl, a fat white girl. Uh, The dude who's driving. Now, this is a white Nissan. You know what I'm saying? The dude who's driving, he's a black guy, uh, middle age. You know what I'm saying? Scruffy beard, like scruffy beard. And he looking, the way he looking, he looking at me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I 
feel uncomfortable. So I, you know, walk up a little bit more. Have it go. He pulls over to the curb and he parks. You know what I'm saying? He parks. Um, He put the car in park. He didn't turn the car off. He gets out. You know what I'm saying? So when he get out, I see him get out. I turn around. I start walking more. So I I pull my, my headphone out of my ear so I can hear if anybody is coming up on me. And I hear him saying, excuse me, love, excuse me. Excuse me, love, excuse me. You know what I'm saying? So I turn around. Now I see the chick Jill. She's sitting there. She looking. So he, I don't know this man. And I'm not finna stop for him. You know what I'm saying? And he's walking he walking fast. He really trying to catch up with me. So I start walking. So he excuse me. I can't get a moment of your time. I said, no. You know what I'm saying? No, no. So he said, man, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. At this point in time when he's telling me, wait a minute, he's getting more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't understand why you're getting aggressive with me when I already told you no. You know what I'm saying? So this spooks me. It spooks me. I don't know uh, this neighborhood like that. I haven't ventured out. None of this. Um, and this man, now I done got spooked and this man is still coming up on me. I start running. You know what I'm saying? I start running. Now check this out. I start running. I know in the scary movies, they say, don't look back. I had to look back because I need to know if he was running too. You know what I'm saying? A uh, dude had a track going on behind me. You know what I'm saying? And old girl is still sitting in the car. She's still sitting in the car. Now she got on glasses like I can't see her big ass face. Uh, like I don't know it's her behind these glasses uh, So I'm running You know what I'm saying So it's like this little cul-de-sac thing I run through there You know what I'm saying And I come up on the other end of the block Bad, bad, bad uh, The halfway house And I'm running I run back to the halfway house You know what I'm saying When I come around a little corner Dude stop You know what I'm saying He stop and he turn back I run up into the halfway house Now when I run up into the halfway house I tell, um, you know, I can't run all the way up in there. I can only run in the first door. So when I run up in the first door, you know, I'm out of breath and I'm, I'm panicking and I'm beating on the door. They taking their times. I'm panicking. So they, you know, they finally get over there. They rob us. So what's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? They ready to get on me. I tell them it's a dude chasing me. So they tell me what? I said, it's a dude chasing me. So they're like, what you mean it's a dude chasing, chasing you? I said, it was a white knee son that pulled up on the side of me. I said, the chick who live up in here, her name Jill. I said, she was on the passenger side seat. I said, and the dude got out. I said, first he was trying to talk to me. When I didn't want to talk to him, I said, he started chasing me because I started running. So they was like, you started running? Yes, I started running. I said, when I told him I didn't, he couldn't talk to me, um, I said, that should have been the end of it. He should have left me alone, but he didn't. I said, he ran after me. I said, he ran after me until I got all the way to this corner. I said, when I got to the corner, that's when he turned back around So he knew I was getting ready to run up in here They said you say it was Jill I said yes it was Jill You know what I'm saying I said yes it was Jill I said I don't know what y'all got going on up in here I was like but if anything happened to me I said uh, my family is going to be on y'all It just is what it is I said I got a great lawyer I ain't had no lawyer y'all I'm saying anything And the only person cared about me was my kids <laughs> But they don't know that you know what I'm saying? Um, I said, my family's going to be on y'all. I said, I got a great lawyer. I said, if anything happens to me, I said, that's on y'all. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So they they taking this serious. So they get on the phone and they start calling Jill, telling Jill to come back to the to the place. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jill tell them she not around right now and she'll get there when she get there. That's pretty much what she said. Now, all the time, I'm like, okay, well, what's going to be done? They tell me, you know, Rob said, if you feel comfortable not going to community service today, you don't have to go. You can stay up in a, you know, you can stay up in your room. We understand. I told him, I said, no, nah. I said, I'm going to do what I got to do. I said, but y'all need to get that under, you know, control. Now, check this out. Um, I call Miss C. I call Miss C because at this point, I'm going to be running late. I call Miss C and I tell Miss C. I say, hey, Miss C, I say, I'm going to be a few minutes late. I say, oh, I just had an incident. So I tell Miss C what had happened. So Miss C, like, no, no, no. I don't want you walking anyway she said i'm gonna come down there she said i'm gonna come down there she said because there's a couple more girls that i want going on this trip too you know what i'm saying they were supposed to be going i said oh, okay so we all get to understand i'm not leaving up out of there you know what i'm saying i'm gonna wait on miss c now you gotta understand something i just got out of prison and i had a bomb trap to take advantage of me uh uh, uh um because i'm being too nice um now i done had the chick who tried to pimp me out she didn't send her pimp on me you know what i'm saying this is too much that's going on. It's too much going on, and I just got home. You know what I'm saying? This ain't my city. You know, this is not my city. They could have put me off in the woods, and I would have been safe in the woods. Right now, I feel like I'm living with animals. You know? And it's like, I, I just felt 
some type of way. Ten minutes later, Miss C pulls up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm I'm able to go outside. She tells me to stand at the bottom of the stairs. You know, don't go too far. Stand at the bottom of the stairs. I come right back. Five minutes later, Miss C come back out. She only got three other girls. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can tell Miss C had an attitude, and I, I already know what was going through her head. Chicks in the halfway house, everybody wants something for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants you to hear their sob story. Everybody wants you to hear they shoulda, woulda, coulda. But when it comes time for them to stud up and do something, it's very few of them who really finna do something. You know what I'm saying? Um, a, a lot of people, I'm not saying everybody. I'm not gonna say everybody. Because I'm not going to say for everybody. But a lot of the chicks who I was in the halfway house with wanted handouts. They didn't want to work for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Once again, they wanted something for nothing. And, 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 and if you think about it, that's why we ended up in prison. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us wanted something for nothing. It just is what it is. Okay, cool. Uh, she put us all up in the van. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's kind of quiet. I'm, 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 I'm kind of shaking up. And I'm texting everything that had happened to me to my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Me and her going back and forth. And my daughters, they they own it. Like, yo, do we need to come out there and all this other stuff? And I'm thinking of, you know, what if I had my daughters come out here and roll on old girl? <laughs> you know, would that affect my parole and all this other stuff? And I'm just telling them, like, nah, leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? By the time me and my daughters get through texting, I look up, it's 25 minutes later, we pulled up to the place. Now, when we pull up to the place, um, I'm not familiar with Pittsburgh, once again, so I can't tell you where it's at. Where it's at, it's a store. It's a big store, a pretty big store. You know what I'm saying? It's like a a a, a, a buyout store, an outlet store, some stuff like that. So we get out, you know what I'm saying? Miss C go to the back of the van and she grabs some some garbage bags or whatever. So she carrying it and like she carrying, she got so many bags in her hand. It's like boxes and she really don't want to ask these other chicks to do nothing because you can tell she got an attitude with them. So I tell her, I say, yeah, I say, I'll help you, Miss C. You know what I'm saying? So I go over there and I get the bags or whatever. So she talking to us, you know, um, why we walking up in there. And she like, how many of these bags y'all think y'all can fill up? I was like, I can fill up however many bags, you know, you need. She said, okay. She said, I like that answer. She said, what about you girls? And they, I fill up about two or three. You know what I'm saying? She's like, okay. You know, she could, you could tell she did not want to deal with these chicks. It just is what it is. Now, when we get inside this store, I'm looking around. The first thing I see was this fur coat. You know what I'm saying? This fur coat was so beautiful. It's, it's a mink. You know what I'm saying? Floor length mink. And it's hanging up there on the rack. And I'm looking around. And I see some nice little pants. I see jeans. I see shirts. Um, belts and shoes. And I see tables and uh, uh, armoires. I mean, it's a lot of stuff in this store. And it's really nice. And it's about 15, 20 people up in there that's shopping already. You know what I'm saying? So, Miss C, she take, uh, she take her garbage bags. She take them over to the counter. And she sit them down. And I go over there. And I sit the garbage bags down I was carrying. You know what I'm saying? Miss C say something to the... To, a chick who was working the register and then she goes over to the door and she locked the door now check this out when she locked the door uh the two the two of the girls who was with us um you could hear them talking like i don't even know why she bring us here if she gonna be locking us in the store like we can leave if we want to like if she ain't wanna if she think we're gonna steal something she shouldn't have bought us up in here she could have got some real people you know people without felony i mean she's just going off she could have got real people people without felonies to come up in here you know she ain't gotta lock the door behind them and old girl agreeing with them. you know hyping up the dumb stuff i'm standing there i'm looking you know what I'm saying? So Miss C throw her hands up. She said, excuse me, ladies. Excuse me, ladies. You know, so everybody turned around, all the shoppers, all of us. She said, I got something to say, you know. So somebody said, go ahead, Miss Constance, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? So a couple of people laugh or whatever. But I'm just standing there. The other girls, you know, they got attitudes. Miss Constance said, um, you guys are now part of a lock-in. So here's the thing. I done been a stripper. So I done been part of a lockdown. I know what that is. I done been an inmate. I done been part of a lockup. But I had no clue what a lock-in was. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what's that? You know, so when I ask her, what's that? The other two girls, they get an attitude. Uh, uh. So I look up at them like, yo, like, what, what y'all think? Like, what y'all think? First of all, I don't like getting into it with meth heads. You know what I'm saying? You can tell these are meth addicts. They got an attitude. They got the, you know, they, they ass on their shoulder. And they, they got an attitude for nothing. First of all, ma'am, it's not my fault you was here. You know what I'm saying? What you're not going to do um, um, is add to my already messed up day. Chill out. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I, Y'all, hey, hey, 
you barking up the wrong tree. And that's those was my words to him. It just is what it is. So Miss C say, what's a lock in? She say, listen. She said, I got garbage bags floating around. She said, so however many garbage bags you can get and you fill up, she said you can keep whatever's in the garbage bag. So I'm like, what you mean? I said, everything that go in there we can have. She said, everything you can fit inside the garbage bags, you can have. No matter how many garbage bags you fill up, she said, whatever you put in there is yours. Listen, I was grateful. I was thankful. Like, um, that was one of the nicest things anybody has ever done for me. You know what I'm saying? And I see a bunch of stuff up in there that'll look good on my children. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I had a, tr a few dollars in my pocket, but that money was not to go to my kids. I'm being honest with you. That was the money I needed to survive out there. I had yet to have more um, uh, confirmation numbers to come in from my Western Unions. So I didn't know how long it was going to be before somebody else sent me some money. You know what I'm saying? So for me to get free stuff for my children, I was on that. You know what I'm saying? So, listen. The first thing I seen. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, that fur coat. That mink. That was up there. That floor lint. Baby, you should have seen me heading up them stairs to get that mink. She said, whatever I can fit, fit in a bag, I'm taking. Boom. That mink was the first thing going to the bag. You know what I'm saying? And I was walking fast. I called my daughters on Messenger. And we going around the store. And we picking and choosing. Picking and choosing. Picking and choosing. Two hours later, I had eight bags full of stuff. All for my children, except for that mink coat. That mink coat was mad. It was mad. My kids ain't know what to do with no mink. You know what I'm saying? I had some little Gucci wallets, purses, all that. But that mink was mad. Have it go. Listen, once, like I said, everything I had got was for my children. Now, check this out. Remember the other day I told y'all, I said when I walked into that meeting, the first time I had met Miss C, uh, she was sitting up in there, people talking about, I want to get my kids back. I want to get my kids, my kids, my kids, my kids. Listen, those chicks was up there getting stuff so they can sell. I didn't hear nobody saying nothing about no kids. I, I even heard somebody say they was picking this up for their nigga. Not one, one thing was about their kids. You know what I'm saying? So this this lets me know people use their children as scapegoats. You know what I'm saying? They they use their children as a, as a, as a, as a uh, 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 marketing tool. You know what I'm saying? They use their children to get what they want. It just is what it is. I peep that. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, um, I got like I said, I got eight bags, and I already know I can't take these eight bags back to the center. You know what I'm saying? So I tell Miss C, I say, Miss C, I say, listen, I say, I can't take these eight bags back to the center. We're not even allowed to have this much stuff. I say, so I need to take this stuff to the post office. Miss C said, no problem. I have no problem. You know what I'm saying? She said, when we leave here, I'll take you to the post office. She said, not only will I take you to the post office, she said, but whatever the postage is to send this stuff out to your children, she said, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So listen, the girls hear Miss C talking about how she's going to uh, send my stuff out to my kids. So they want her to take them and they stuff to wherever they taking it to so she asked them she said how much stuff do y'all have for y'all children so she well you know both of them are saying like well i got this for me and i got this for such and such and i got this nothing for their kids she said listen if it wasn't if it was for y'all children i'll do it she said but now one of y'all have anything for y'all kids so i can't help y'all she said the best i can do is take y'all back to the center and y'all make it from there you know what i'm saying they didn't they couldn't stand me they get an attitude with me you know what i'm saying they telling me i'm a kiss ass well they ain't not telling me but you hear them saying that i'm a kiss ass a brown nose and all this how how because i got sense you know what i'm saying it's like don't 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 hate me hate the game hate the game it is what it is now, check this out. After we go to the post office and she drop us back off and everything, uh, once again, I feel good. You know what I'm saying? Everybody walking around with an attitude, I don't care. All the time when we get up in the center, uh, Jill still ain't made it back. She still ain't made it back. You know what I'm saying? And that got me in my head a little bit. I go upstairs, I take a shower, and I try to uh, 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 make myself feel better because I have high anxieties. You know what I'm saying? Um, I try to make myself feel better that I'm about to go downstairs and I'm about to cook. You know what I'm saying? Um, listen, cooking is a stress reliever for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk about this a lot, but I can cook. I can throw down. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, I went downstairs to the kitchen. Now, when I entered the kitchen, tell me why the same chicks who was in that kitchen this, that morning was still in that kitchen. Kitchen was messed up, dirty as hell. 
know what I'm saying? So I get my, my attitude creeps back up because I can't cook in no dirty kitchen. Furthermore, I don't like cooking when there's a whole bunch of people around, especially people I don't know, especially people that still sitting in pajamas and it's now the afternoon and you've been in the same stuff since this morning, meaning you ain't washed nothing. A dish, your booty, your clothes, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Have it go. I run back upstairs. Um, um, get some, get my, get my little bleach and my spray and stuff. Come back downstairs, and I attempt to clean this kitchen before I start cooking. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, I really can cook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna feel better once I start, um, um, once I start smelling this food. Now, listen, it's three things I know I can do right in this life. One, I can make some pretty children. You know what I'm saying? Two, I can hustle my butt off. Three, I can throw down in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? I can throw down. Baby, listen. Once I, it took me an hour to clean that kitchen up. You know what I'm saying? It took me an hour to clean that kitchen up. Did any of those chicks help? Not at all. But everybody was sitting around. You know what I'm saying? Once I clean the kitchen up, get my, 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 my prepping station together, I'll go up in there, I bring out my food. Bring out my greens, my turkey meat. You know, I got my pot on, put me some water, my seasoning and everything up in there. That's from my turkey meat. Um, I, you know, I got my stuff together. So I don't, I don't, I'm prepping stuff and, you know, I'm putting stuff on the stove and, you know, stuff starting to boil. You can smell it. It smells good. I'm talking about my stomach. It's, it's finna good. It's, and I know it's finna taste good. I'm shredding my cheese for my baked macaroni and cheese. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come a sweet pet. I'm gonna come a sweet potatoes up. Got the nutmeg, golden vanilla flavor and sugar. Oh, butter. You can smell it. The staff members coming up in there. Oh, it smell good up in here. Smell good up in here. Smell good up in here. Yes, I feel good. You know what I'm saying? People sitting around. Oh, it smell good. Oh, I know this is gonna taste so good and everything. And I'm thinking to myself, you're not getting none. You know what I'm saying? I ain't cooking for you. You're not getting none. None, 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 none. So a girl over there. Big Funky, she's still sitting over there in the same spot. She, oh, I can't wait till this food get done. I'm not saying nothing. Because I'm, 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 you're not getting none of my food. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting none of my food. Check this out. As I'm as I'm putting my meatloaf in the oven, um, um, the CO come over to the intercom, Robinson, come to the office. I say, you know, I, I, let, me, let me tidy up, stir up a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Turn my fire down just right. Because I'm finna step away from this stove. I put everything the way I needed it to be. And I set it up so I can know if somebody touched my food or not. It just is what it is. Uh, now everything clean. Everything clean. Everything set. Everything cooking. I leave up out the, cook, the kitchen. Walk down a little hallway. Get to the office. Now when I get to the office, it's a box sitting on the desk. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know, hey, y'all. So they, hey, Robinson, you got a package here. Now, all the time, it's one of the white staff members who tell me I got a package here, Miss Lowe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she said you got a, not Miss Lowe, Miss uh, Miss Prescott. She said you got a package here. She, she come over there. Now, the other uh, black lady, she comes over there. She, I got it. I got it. So she, did we tell you you can have packages delivered here? I said, well, this is my mailing address at the point where I'm here. You don't have to tell me I can have packages delivered here. If I can have mail delivered here, I can have anything delivered here. You know what I'm saying? So she, well, what is this? I say it's books. Now I was saying my sister sent my books, you know, overnight in my stuff. I say it's books. So she, you ordering books for up in here? I say, yeah, she, well, you can order my daughter book. I say, your daughter got a book out? She say, not yet. She said, right now it's a bidding war for my daughter. I said, oh yeah. I said, well, who bidding them? She was like, uh, Triple Crown and Simon and Schuster. First of all, ma'am, Triple Crown is not finna build with nobody for nobody. It is with their Triple Crown. And si Simon and Schuster, they deal with big people. You know what I'm saying? Not nobody who writing trash on what pad. I'm sorry, y'all. White, um, uh, I'm sorry. If you write on there, please forgive me. But what her daughter wrote was trash. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? S Simon and Schuster deal with Steve Harvey, uh, uh, Stephen King, and uh, New York Times bestseller authors. That's who they deal with. They not finna waste their time with this chick. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh yeah. I'm like, well, I'm like, well, what's the bidding price? I can't tell you that. That's confidential information. You know what I'm saying? I said, oh, okay. So I open up my, you know, I open up my box. So she's like, okay, okay, that's enough. So when I open it up, she tell me that's enough. Meaning, okay, take your hands off of them because they gotta go through it because they gotta make sure ain't no contraband in my in my box. So I step back, you know what I'm saying? So she pulling out the books, she pulling out the books, and she flipping through the pages. One thing I hate: if I got a new book, do not bend my pages. 
You know what I'm saying? Don't flip through my stuff like that. Like, why Why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? It don't take that much to do nothing, ma'am. You know this come from the company. You act like I know somebody at Amazon and tell them, hey, put the wool up inside the bam. You know what I'm saying? Send it to me. That's how she acting. You know what I'm saying? So I'm irritated with her. So she flipped through one book, handed it to me, flipped through another. Man, dude, it's 12 books. This lady do this with all 12 books. I'm irritated beyond belief. You know what I'm saying? So one of the staff members, she tell me, uh, um, she say, she say, well, what kind of books is those? She said, I see you got multiple of the same ones. I say, these are my books. So old girl say, clearly they're your books. She said, but who wrote them? Like, you got to be the smartest, dumbest. Dumbest person ever to walk this earth. You know what I'm saying? I say, they're my books. I wrote them. So she looked at me. She was like, you wrote them. She was like, how you get books published that fast? She was like, you just started writing a book. I said, no. I said, those are old. I said, that's a new book. I said, these are older books. She, you got older books. I say, yeah. I said, I also have a publishing deal. You should have seen her face. Baby, it looks could kill. She, well, why you ain't say that? I don't have to say that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't come in judging you. You came in. When I came in, you started judging me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I didn't have to say that. She, well, common sense would have, um, she said common sense would have told you to tell me what you had going on. First of all, ma'am, why do you think you're that important to me? You know what I'm saying? Common sense ain't told me to tell me nothing. I, 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 do that make sense? You know what I mean. Common sense, I, common sense told me not to say nothing to you. That's what it should have said. You know what I mean? Have it go. Um, I tell the, the, the white staff member, I say, you got a pen? She say, yeah. She say, so you a real live author? I say, yeah. I say, I sold a lot of books. So old girl say, I wish you would have told me. Nah. No, you didn't. You know what I'm saying? She, well, maybe you can help me with my daughter. No, I can't. No, I won't. I can't do nothing for you or your child. And I'm being dead serious. I I I, I can't do nothing for them, one of y'all. You a, a, a day ago, you had all the answers. You was telling me if I was lucky enough, I could meet her. Damn, you and her. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So the staff member, she bring me a, a pen over there. And I was like, well, I ordered these books for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So old girl was so happy. Like, she was so happy. And the other staff members, they were super happy too. And I took my time writing my John Hancock on these books and handing these books out. It just is what it is. And they felt really good. You know what I'm saying? And they was telling me how proud of me they was. You know, man, I really want you to do good so you can get up out of here. You know, I really feel like you got something to offer the world. You know, they're giving me pep talks. They're, they're feeding me love. You know what I'm saying? All the time, she over there, she just looking at me. Looking at me. You know what I'm saying? Like I stink or something. Having God get down to my last two books and I write, I write up in the book. You know, property of Cecilia Robinson and found, please return to her. You know what I'm saying? I put the address on the books. Have it go when I'm writing my little, you know, my little speech up in these last two books. Somewhere in her head, she thought I was autographing these books for her like I had done for the previous people. Baby, when I close them books, you know what I'm saying? I put them books inside that big box and walk right off. Went upstairs. You don't get nothing from me. You don't, you don't, you don't get to uh, 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 downplay me and then think I'm finna give you something. If you lucky enough, you can order the books on Amazon and, and I'll sign them for you. If you're lucky. You know what I'm saying? If you look like that, and that's what she told me. Did she tell me that? Oh, okay. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Hmm. Here we go. I take my books upstairs and I put them inside the, uh, I put them inside the, uh, my locker. So when I put them inside my locker, I come on back downstairs. Now I come down through the middle stairs, you know what I'm saying, to the, to the little kitchen part. Now when I go downstairs, um, when I'm getting ready to get in the kitchen, I hear uh, pots clinking, ding, 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 tops closing, pots stirring, and all this. Now, when I was up in the kitchen, uh, 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 wasn't nobody cooking but me. You know what I'm saying? So who's in the pot? Who's in the pot? You know what I'm saying? I get an attitude, instant attitude. When I go up in the kitchen, I see big nasty over my damn sweet potatoes, stirring them. I don't stir my sweet potatoes. You know what I'm saying? Ma'am, you got on pajamas you had on from this morning. And the, the back part is stuck in your, the, the back part, pants part of your, 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 your pajamas is stuck in your booty. Your hair's all over your head. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 and you standing over my food, stirring it. Yeah, I got an attitude. What are you doing? 
You know what I'm saying? So I get to yell. What are you doing? Why are you touching my food? So she turned around. She, I was just trying to help. I was just trying to help. You know what I'm saying? And she, doop, doop, doop. You know what I'm saying? And closed my sweet potatoes back up. If I had a rocket, it would have shot through me. I didn't ask you to help me. I didn't need no help. I didn't need no help. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen you cook your own food. But I'm going to ask you for help. Uh, 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 cooking mad. I tell her, don't touch none of my stuff. As long as I'm here, as long as you here, don't put your hand on nothing to mad. You know what I'm saying? And I get mad at everybody else. Y'all seen this dumb hoe over here stirring my stuff. Ain't nobody gonna try to tell her not to touch my stuff. I get an attitude. I'm cussing everybody out. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody saying, saying nothing. A couple people get up and leave up out the kitchen. And she just telling me, man, I was just, you know, it was smelling so good. I just want to help. I ain't want nothing to happen to her. Ma'am, don't touch nothing to mine. And then furthermore, I never said I was giving you anything. I said, you asked me for a plate and I told you, all right. You know what I'm saying? That's not a definite nothing. That's nothing. I ain't means a variety of things. You know what I'm saying? She, I ain't mean no harm. Listen, check this out. Uh, I didn't want the food no more. It just is what it is. I did not want the food no more. She could have been putting little pubic hairs up in there. Who knows? She could have put a little, 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 her, little of her dust up in there. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't want the food no more. So I'm turning off my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm ready to throw it, throw it all away. So one of the girls like, CC, yo, what's wrong? I said, listen, I said, I don't like that. I said, I don't like nobody playing my food. I don't want nobody touching my food. I said, I hated the fact that y'all was sitting around here while I was cooking. You know what I'm saying? I was like, but y'all talking about it smell good. So I'm showing out a little bit and it just is what it is. I said, but now that she touched my food, I say it's contaminated. I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting ready to pull the stuff up off the, the stove and I'm getting ready to throw it away. So a girl like, wait, 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 wait. Don't throw it away. Like, see, see, that's too much food to throw away. I say, listen, I say, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I was like, she just wasted my money. She was really wasting my money. So she was like, no, 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 CC. She was like, it's not a waste of money. She was like, look. She was like, I got $15. She was like, can I get a plate? You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, that's cool. You can get a plate. I'll, I'll finish fix, fixing it for you. Um, and, and you can buy a plate from me for $15. Listen, at least I'll buy something else. You know, at least I'll make something up off of it. I wasn't going to eat it. But if she was willing to pay for it, I'll finish cooking it so she can, you know, so she can buy a plate. So another girl like, I got $15. I, can I buy a plate? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Next thing I know, listen, I done sold 10 plates. That's $150. You know what I'm saying? So while I'm fixing that last plate, I get an a, a idea in my head. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I can cook and sell plates up in this place, and I can, I can really hustle up out of here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm listening to how everybody over there eat. Mm, 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 mm. Now, a girl who got up there and stirred my pot, she ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got fifteen dollars. She over there asking everybody else, man, can I get some of that? Can I get some of that? You know what I'm saying? And people were giving her. She got a plate and she's going around collecting food from these people. You know what I'm saying? And no, I will not get her none. No, no. Everybody else paid fifteen dollars. She could pay fifteen dollars. It is what it is. If they chose to give her what they paid for, yeah. But she was the reason I wasn't finna eat. You know what I'm saying? So she collecting stuff and everybody over, oh, this is so good. This is so good. This is so good. Now, imagine, I already got the idea in my head. I could cook food up in here because they like my food and I could hustle it off. Check this out. People was like, one of the girls, you know what I'm saying? One of the girls, she come over there and she say, uh, she say, Cece, look. She say, on Sundays, can we pay you to make Sunday, um, Sunday dinner? Absolutely. Absolutely. I say, y'all let me know what y'all want to wanna cook. Um, I say, and... We'll, we'll make it happen. Y'all pay me, I'll cook y'all food. So then I was like, you know something else? I was like, I'll be down here cooking every day. I said, if y'all want to, I say, y'all can pay me for plates. And they, listen, that's how I started hustling up in the halfway house. Listen, y'all stay tuned because there's more to this story. Y'all be smooth.